Hello, and welcome to Catfish Trash Talk. This is episode nine. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, Noel Winters Herzog. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Noel. <laughs> hello, Noel, and hello, Tracy. <laughs> uh, we're here to talk about season eight, episode 41, Nige and Siana. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, Noel. Yeah. Right before we started recording, you yeah. told me something important. And I said, hey, 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 save, save it for, for the, the potty. Podcast. OK, I have noticed the past few episodes that, you know, when you start Catfish, they show you like, you know, little blurbs about like what's going to happen in the episode. Yes. So it's like they showed like uh, coming ne- attractions of the next yeah. segment. Yes. So they showed Nige reacting and they showed Cammy reacting. Right. And I'm like, oh, I already know the ending now. Right. Because you could just tell you could tell when someone is surprised in a good way or a bad way. Right. And it's like, I already know what's going to happen. So I don't want to watch that anymore because it I knew what was coming the whole time then. Right. And it was very annoying. I can't wait until this season is over so we can go back and recap some old good catfish. Tracy, I can't wait. First of all, I can't wait to rewatch them in life because they're just so too. fun. But it's like, I can't wait to recap it because they're going to be fun. There was the best episodes back, especially season one. Yeah. What? We're going to go back yeah. to season one. Um, yeah, there's there's a there's a bunch. There's a bunch. And we have a lot of time because Catfish actually takes off a lot. They do. And the, the seasons are very short. That's what I'm catfish. saying. The seasons are short and they're yeah. far between. Yeah, they're, they're few true. and far between. They're few and far between. So in between, we're going to go back to season one, episode one, and we're going to go from there. I remember the girl's name was Sunny. Sunny was episode. That. that was season one, episode one, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Where the girl was like, oh, um, he is the he holds the cue cards for Chelsea yes. and then they call Chelsea oh, I was and all his sisters died in a car accident Every, okay <laughs> I feel like what they need to do Neve yeah. and Cammy, what they need to do for like a promo material is write like a book okay about like how to tell if they're a catfish number right. one everyone's dead in a car accident uh-huh number two everyone's dead from cancer yes number three my car broke down Number four, they can't video chat. I was just going to say, number four, my camera's broken. Uh huh. Number five, I'm so busy and I'm in a dark room. Number six, they go to meet you, but then they ghost you. Yeah. You go to meet them and then they ghost you. But they got in a car accident. That's what they ghosted you. Well, yeah, that's true. They got into a car accident. Uh huh. And also, they need money because, like, their transmissions break or whatever. Uh huh. uh, We're going to get into that. So now, um, what did Cammy's sweatshirt say? Because I wrote that down and then I never wrote what it said. Oh, best friends. Oh, it was very cute. Uh huh. It was very cute. I like her style a lot. And I also I like so. their chemistry a lot. I think Same. they have good chemistry. Same. Like when she was eating the <laughs> later on, she was eating the yes. peanuts and he knocked them. When he knocked them out of her hand with a straight uh-huh. face. Uh huh. I was like, he's so silly. Yeah, he's so fun. Yeah. I think he's so They're much both fun. very fun, though. I would like to um, be friends with the both of them. Same. They should make a catfish studio in New York City. Well, they have um, our what's it? Um, are we at Ari's? Ari's uh, is yeah. it Ari? No, I think I made that up. Yeah, his Ari. Name is Ariel. Ari. Yeah, Ari. yeah. They have his uh, fake office. Oh, the dungeon with the Vespa mm-hmm. in it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. So we meet Nige. He's eighteen. He's from Philadelphia, born and raised. Right. Uh, and he met Sienna mm-hmm. when she put a hard eye emoji on his Instagram picture. Right. And then boom, they're in love. And she's in Delhi, Delaware. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he took the train to go meet her in Delaware and she ghosted him right. all the way. Mm-hmm. She will not video chat with him. And they've been talking for two years. So this is from 16 to 18. Damn. OK. He's also sent her a lot of money. So now he shows us her pictures and he's like, oh, my God, she's a model to me. Yeah. She looks like the cash me outside girl. OK. Okay, I'm looking at her and I'm like, this looks like, like every not girl. like her, but like that's just like that's her type. It's the type. It's every girl that's an out of control teen on Maury. Yes. Yeah. She looks like an out of control teen. Yes. So whatever. They're in love. They've taken a few breaks because he breaks up with her when, um, you know, she does when she ditches when she him, goes basically. him or whatever, when she disappears, whatever. Right. right. So Nige lives at home. He mm-hmm. used to be an HVAC technician. Sure, you were. Jan. Yeah, I'm sure. But you're on hiatus. So now you're 
comedy? A in comedian? your free time, you're a stand-up comic? Now right. let me tell you something. Uh-huh. I looked Nigel up on the Foch book. That's Facebook, uh-huh. guys. That's Facebook. We have no mutual friends. Right. When you are a stand-up comic, even if you're like a newer stand-up comic, we'll have like five mutual friends. Also, he's in Philadelphia, which is very close to New York. Like we would have mutual friends. I know a ton of stand-up comics in Philadelphia. Just throwing that out there. He's 18. He lives with his mom and sister. Oh, no, she's 18. Sorry. She lives with her mom and sisters and she worked at Dairy Queen, but she doesn't post much on Instagram. And she has deleted all of her pictures on Instagram a few times. Okay, so I did not know. I just found this out recently. You can um, not delete your pictures. Hide them all, you right? Hide them. Yeah, that's like I when didn't know that. Like usually when you break when, up with your man. Yes, I was yeah? just gonna say. Usually people do that when they're having a nervous breakdown. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. So last year of November, mm-hmm. her transmission blew, and she needed money for her transmission. Now I gotta tell you. Yeah. I was like, oh, she's scamming him, and then he's like, yup. I sent her three hundred and three dollars. What did you have a micro machine? But that's what I mean. What was this a Hot Wheels? Was car? this a transmission for your bicycle? What transmission was it's this? Three hundred and three dollars. Three hundred and three dollars. You know what? I'll buy you a transmission. Also, it's a very specific number. Three hundred and three dollars. Your tra- your whole transmission one, and you need three hundred and three dollars because that's the total cost of your transmission. Yeah, try like quadruple that plus. Like what the hell? Yeah, people total their cars when they their transmission gro- goes right if my transmission went i would get rid of you the would car. junk it you would scrap uh-huh. the car yeah well he sent her money because he was on unemployment right and cammy's like oh you sent her the stimmy uh, <laughs> yeah not Good necessarily he sent her his unemployment check not his stimulus check yes just saying. Mm-hmm. so he also had to send this money to her friend manuel's cash out see to me that's a red flag it's always Super a red, red flag. flag and it's so a friend of the family well friend of the family this was in february right. 2020 okay uh-huh. so february 2020 he took the train right to where she lives mm-hmm. he waited for three hours and she mm-hmm. ghosted him but here's the thing noelle they were texting the whole time he was on the train right as soon as he she disappeared landed on land mm-hmm. from the flying train right she disappears but also uh, you know, props to him. He waited three hours. I would have done it too. You would have waited three hours? Yeah, I'm an idiot. Oh, no, no, no. I would have been gone half an hour tops. I'm an I all no the way patience. idiot. Wow, I can't believe I would that. have had so much anxiety that when I left, she would have showed up. Yeah, but that's too bad. Don't be late. I know, but this is, listen, would Tracy now do that? No, but 18 yeah. year old Tracy, one, I would have can't, I would have built a new home in the train station. That's so crazy. I would never have even, I wouldn't have showed up if I was, if this was 18 year old Noel. <laughs> <laughs> you would have ghosted the ghost. Yeah. This is who I am. No, I would have showed up and I would have been like, well, you I guess I live at home. <laughs> I guess I live here now. <laughs> I would have pitched a tent uh-huh. and I would have been like, Sienna, I love you. I love you. I'm waiting here for you. (laughs) I'll never Mm -hmm. stop looking. (laughs) We'll never stop looking for you. (laughs) That's what I would have done because I was uh, I was a very interesting 18 year old. Yes, that you were. You know, Tracy, you were. (laughs) You are. I got to agree with you on that. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Well, they talked the next day. Right. And, you know, just something came up with her mom. Nondescript. Right. Something came up. Mm -hmm. What is that? Her mom. Uh huh. And I'm telling you, 18 year old Tracy would have been like, oh, my God. So they came up with your mom. No, I would be like, you're dead to me. <laughs> OK, now I would have been like, well, I hope she fucking died. That's so funny because that, that's the only something that could have come up with your mom that would excuse this. Show right. me her dead body. Right. Show me the death certificate because mm-hmm. I'm going to come in. copy. I'm going to take the train <laughs> to go to her funeral and I want to see her <laughs> embalmed. <laughs> so if your mom's not dead, you better kill her now. Yeah, do it. I'm on my way. <laughs> Hurry. You don't have that much time to get this funeral set up. <laughs> so that that would have been the only excuse for now, Tracy. Also, every time they broke up, he said he was with other girls, but mm-hmm. she is his WFL wife for life. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He also um, said also, that, she- of course, he was with other girls. Do, would you take an online person seriously? Okay, also, he's a 16 to 18 year old boy. Right. Of course, he's with. Oh, other he's girls. saving himself. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Sure, he's wearing a chastity belt. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he can't wait. 
Mm-hmm. He said that she looks like a model. Okay. Cash me outside. I mean, I think she looks like a model for like what not to do when you're a teen. Right. I think she looks like a she's model a for model. rainbow clothes. Right. Yes. Uh-huh. She's a Maury Povich model. Yes, she is. She's like, she wears like bicycle shorts with the matching bra. There's a lot of matching sets. There's a lot. I have a lot of matching sets. Yes. I know you're, but I can't trash. wear them in a way that she does. I wear them in an ironic way. <laughs> sure you do. <laughs> sure you do. That's what we all say. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm in this crop top ironically. <laughs> nope. I'm not. <laughs> She might have also been a Halloween mask model, which is where I've started my modeling career. She might have been Barney the dinosaur. Maybe. But yeah. speaking of Halloween, I think this is around Halloween when they tape this because they're eating a bowl of Halloween candy. Yeah, it's all like the fun sizes. And listen, could you have gone to Costco and got that bag? Yes. But is it probably just Halloween? Yeah. Oh, it's definitely Halloween, but I love. So here's what I love. Not only because it was candy, it was all chocolate. And this is what I like. Mm -hmm, And mm -hmm. she's like, look at all the different flavors I have. (laughs) Okay, so that is a very special bag of candy that they do Uh sell at Costco and BJ's. Mm -hmm. Um, It is the chocolate variety. Yes, this is more money. I am a chocolate variety. More money. There Uh are no gummies. There's no uh, sweet tarts. There's no what are those other things? What are those things that come in the little package that have the twists on the side? Smarties. Smarties. Yeah, I used to like them. You would. You would. I got to tell you. You don't think any. You don't like any candy. You don't like anything sweet. So of course you would like a Smartie. Okay. Can I tell you about Smarties though? Yeah. Tell me. Okay. So do you ever get? Okay. Just hear me out. When you get really hungry. Uh huh. Do you ever get a noise in your head that sounds like something dissolving? Like there's soda in my head? Yeah. Almost like there's soda or in your head. Or alka I think it's like the hunger pains, like my stomach go into my brain. Oh, no. And it sounds like my stomach, like, I guess like, like a hunger pain in my brain. Oh, no. I just get it in my stomach. Okay. Okay. I get this like high pitched. Um, <laughs> I would never want to be hungry if I were Dissolving <laughs> um, thing. And when I eat a Smartie. Uh-huh. It makes that noise in my in my mouth and then my head could hear it. Okay. And it would I would eat it and I'd be like, Am I hungry? And it's like, no, I'm just enjoying a delicious smarty. Are you leading into an ad for mental health professionals right now? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, no, because that would have been a perfect segue. But no, I'm telling you, I really liked it. Yeah. A smarties were was like the noise. It was the hunger noise it would make. That's when you ever like eat a candy that dissolves in your mouth and it's like you hear like some kind of like, like a you ever pop see- rock. No. Okay. <laughs> you ever see like those meditation bowls where it's like a bowl and then yeah, you uh-huh. around the edge and it makes like, a yeah. So sound? I used to watch a really hot girl on TikTok use one. Okay. Uh-huh. That's the sound that it makes when I do. That sounds terrible. Yeah. That's what happens. All right. Well, I would never want to be hungry <laughs> or eat a Smartie. It's the same noise. Oh, all right. Well, good to know. I actually think I might even have a Smartie in my candy dish. Oh, well you should try it out and see. If I will try. And see if it makes the to. noise. I'm gonna have to. Now I'm curious. <laughs> Halloween candy. So uh Cammy does a little ASMR with the Halloween candy. What does that mean? Uh that means that it's like the the sounds. She does like the crumpling. Oh, the... I like it. And then Neve, very funny, hits her hand and makes her spill everything. That, okay, but that was funny because he does it so deadpan. Yes, that's why yeah, I, liked it. I like him. All right. So now they're gonna image search. Mm-hmm nothing okay but i feel like that's kind of normal sometimes Mm -hmm. there's nothing Mm -hmm. okay now they're gonna uh search the phone number right nothing nothing okay so now they're just gonna google her name and they find out that she did a 5k in 2015 (laughs) when she was 13 when she was 13 years old she was in the female from 1 to 13 category but that's the thing so you're racing against two-year-olds and she only came in 72nd right. place or something. And it's like, bro, get your life together. <laughs> there is an 18 month old child that just ran this race. Beating their, you. Uh-huh. Their legs are four to five inches long. Yeah. This is like the tortoise in the hair. You are 13 <laughs> years old. Get uh-huh. your life together. Yeah, that's very sad. Start training. Your 72nd. There uh-huh. was like a hundred people in the race. <laughs> and that she was, was like, 13. Right. She had the advantage. Seriously. <laughs> she should have waited until the next year, at least so she could have been the lowest in the higher group, and it would have been less embarrassing. That is that would be way less like embarrassing. The 15 to 50. <laughs> You're going. <laughs> 
I like how they think that the one-year-olds and the 13-year-olds are just on even playing field. Right. You would think it would be like one. Well, no, nobody's on an even play field. With okay. A can you imagine you're one? Uh-huh. You can't even walk. And then your mother's like, <laughs> I signed you up for a 5K. Right. But that's the thing. You're crawling past. I don't get it. Okay. Did I ever tell you when I did my 5K? No. All right. I'm going to tell you about it. Okay. So years ago, mm-hmm. I did a 5K. I yes. trained for it for a very long time. I remember that. So I do the 5K. I'm running this 5K. And the way that this is set up, you can hear the announcer announcing people as they cross the finish line from anywhere you are in this park. Oh, interesting. Okay. okay. So I'm a, so a 5K is 3.2 miles. Mm-hmm. I'm on like mile, I don't know, one and a half. Okay. I'm doing a little joggy jog. It's hot, right? I'm like... You would think that I'm running like a full marathon. Uh huh. I'm like grabbing the water out of people's <laughs> hands and they're giving it to me. I'm like pouring on my head. <laughs> right. As I approach the 1.5 mile marker, uh-huh. I hear an announcement. Crossing the finish line at 97 years old. What? And I'm like, wait a minute. Is there a 97 year old person that just doubled my time what like they did it in half the time that I did it yeah I was like what the hell what the hell then there were like people with missing limbs just speeding past me (laughs) and then it's you and it's just me at the end I did this 5k I am how many people ran it a lot a lot a whole bunch immediately I fainted onto the floor (laughs) in the middle of the, so it ended up, it was like through this park. And then the last uh, thing of it was on like a round track. Uh huh. I fainted into the middle of the track and I just laid on my back and sprawled out. That's you. This Uh is who you are. I was like, I did it. Ah." Meanwhile, half of the people that ran it had, were halfway home. They're already home already. Right. Uh They were home having like their pasta lunch. (laughs) That's that very was laying funny. on the floor. 97 so years old. I, wow. Okay. So now let me follow up with that. So yeah. now I go to years later, I go to um, a pulmonologist uh-huh. to see if he could help me with my cough. Okay. P.S. He's retired now. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> so I'm sitting in the office and he has this magazine, this, this newspaper article taped to the cabinet. Right. And it's like 101 year old man finishes race in record time. Oh, and I'm like, what's that? And he's like, oh, I have this patient. He's super old. He runs all these races. It was him. It was him. What are the odds of that? It was him. I was like, I know him. I was like, that guy really, really hurt my self-esteem. I know him. (laughs) I I mean, beat me. He he destroyed me. He destroyed everybody there. I know, but it's like you really have to assess your life when a 97 year old man is blowing you out of the water or when a one year old is blowing you (laughs) out of the water, apparently. (laughs) All right. So this one year old speeds past her. They decide to call Dairy Queen. Right. First of all, I would have been like, hello, can you tell me about the ice cream that you dip in chocolate? Yes. Can you tell me how long it takes to harden up? Yeah. Tell me about your Texas toast. Do you get to eat all the ice cream you like? Do you like it dipped? What's your favorite? Like, I would have a lot of conversations. I ha- to make right. This. I have so many ice cream questions besides. <laughs> Do you have any frozen yogurt? Mm, that what if someone's lactose question. intolerant? Right. What if someone's gluten free? Oh, that's true, too. All right. So they call the Dairy Queen. They are unaffected that Neve calls the Dairy Queen. Yeah, they don't care. He's like, hello, this is Neve from the television. Mm hmm. I am famous from the television. I'm here right. with Cammy. I'm Neve from Catfish, the television show, and then also the documentary movie. I've been on the air for eight seasons. I am extremely famous. I've even had sexual assault allegations. That's how <laughs> famous I am. <laughs> and they're like, eh, you could leave your phone number. They're like, okay, what? And he, they're like, oh, is there anyone named Sienna that worked there? And they're like, yeah. uh, I mean, we, I guess we can ask and call back. Right. And I'm like, like, that is such um, a typical, like, fast food worker response. Yeah, for sure. It's like, hey, I found this hand in my fries. (laughs) It's the hands of a child. (laughs) And it's deep fried. And they're like, okay, cool. Um, I'll leave a note for the manager. (laughs) Like, no one cares. (laughs) So, also, something that I noticed. Yeah. 
So they're doing all this stuff. In the new office, there's a poster of the OG catfish with Max in it. I saw that last week. Uh-huh. And I'm like, oh. And I'm like, oh, that's funny. I wonder if Cammy like, pokes his eyes out. Maybe. The- Maybe. She probably draws a mustache on him. They have to keep replacing <laughs> it. <laughs> An extra mustache. Uh-huh. They probably he, <laughs> draw a, a mustache on his mustache. Um, also, he's still a producer, though. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. He's still oh, so he's just show. like being behind the scenes, really, probably yeah, more. That's all. Um, no information on Manny. So now they Google Manny, who she sent the, right. the money. He sent the money to. Now we are going to go back to the Zoom with Nige. Mm-hmm. He is in um, a, a kill dungeon. Yeah. What is that? It was terrifying. It was not good. And he says his parents put him down there it, like that. But that's your house basement. And it looks like this. so your house basement has nothing in it. Nothing. There was not one item in there. And also you're in the dark. <laughs> can you, do, can we bring a lamp down? There? Yeah, that was very, very Can we get scary. a ring light? I did not like it at all. Also, you get good service in the basement. How is that possible? I don't know. Well, Dairy Queen calls back and. <laughs> I love when people do this where what? you're like, what's your name? And she's like, you can call me Polo. Okay. Why don't you just say this? Watch this. Uh-huh. You asked me. Go ahead. What's your name? Polo. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Say it again. Just call do it again. You. All right. What's your name? Well, you can call me Tracy if you want. Shady. Shady. Right, but like, what is your name? Shady. Just say yeah. Polo. Yeah. It's so weird. All right. So she won't video chat. Mm-hmm. Um, so they're like, was someone, did someone named Sienna work there? And she's like, yeah, she goes, what did she look like? And she goes, Mm -hmm. she looked normal, right? She had brownish hair. She looked normal. Uh Uh-huh. What does that mean? Exactly. What a, what a poet this Uh polo is. Yeah. Polo the poet. Normal. (laughs) Polo has a way with words. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very many. Very, many very poetic, very polo the poet. <laughs> polo, polo is using so many sizzle words uh-huh. to describe uh, Sienna. Normal. She looked normal. So they're like, okay, well, we think she's catfishing. And she goes, she wouldn't catfish. She was a nice person. Okay. Well, tell so, me more. So then. Now they think it's polo. <laughs> right. Uh, they're like, do you have any contact with her? She's like, nope, I got to go. I love when they do this. This is such a scripted move. They just hang up. They go. I got to go now. Mm-hmm. Like, do you remember when you were like two and you would have yes. to like talk to your aunt on the phone? Uh huh. Have like, they'd be like, tell your aunt you love her. And you're like, uh, I got to go now. Bye. And then you give the phone. Yep. Mommy said I have to go. And you yeah. just give the phone to someone yes. else. That's how they act. <laughs> all right. So she said she has no contact with her at all. Right. Again, calls from a not traceable number. See, but that's weird. But that's what I'm saying. <sighs> All right. We have so much to discuss. Yeah, that's so um, weird. Now that we've been on the subject of the delicious Dairy Queen treats, though, uh huh, it makes me think about cereal that we would eat growing up. Mm, it was one of cereal. the best parts about being a kid, but I don't eat it anymore because I realized it was full of sugar and junk that you really shouldn't eat. Yeah, it's too much. We're all trying to eat better, but healthy breakfast doesn't have to be boring because Magic Spoon has the amazing flavors you love, but without all the bad stuff. Mm, This cereal has zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving and 140 calories. Amazing. My favorite part, it's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, and GMO-free. Wow. Wow. Do you want to hear about the variety pack? Of course I do. Four flavors. Ready? Ready. Cocoa. Mm-hmm. Boom. Fruity. Yum. Frosted. Favorite. Peanut butter. Mmm. Okay. So also. Yeah. If you mix the cocoa with the peanut butter. Yeah. It tastes like a peanut butter cup. That's delicious. Yum. This is exactly like the regular cereal from your childhood, but it's super nutritious. It's delicious, but super healthy cereal that really brings joy to your mornings or afternoons or evenings or late night snacks or whatever you want to eat. <laughs> okay. Cereal. Go to magicspoon.com slash catfish to grab a variety pack and try it today. And be sure to use our promo code catfish at checkout to save $5 off your order. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product. It's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, Mm -hmm. they'll refund you your money. No questions asked. There's no risk at this. Oh, I love that. 
Remember, get your next delicious bowl of guilt-free cereal at magicspoon.com slash catfish and use the code catfish to save $5 off. And thank you, Magic Spoon, for sponsoring this episode. Thank you. All right, well, back to uh, what's happening here. Okay. <sighs> he's sad. He feels used. He feels played. Yeah, he just feels down. And then he says something that's very, very nasty and triggering. What? He's like, well, if I would have known this, I could have just stayed with the other girls. Oh, and this is where he lost and me. Neve is like, well, if you like those other girls so much, you would have. Right. He's not wrong. Yeah. So Neve is texting Sienna. Right. OK, so now he's texting her at the number mm-hmm. that this boy has for her. Yes. OK. Right. So Nige has the same. This is Nige gives her number and says, right. this is her number. So she texts back and said, oh, are people using my pictures again? And it's like, no, what? that wouldn't even make sense. Why? Because that would. OK, so that would make sense if they found Sienna's pictures online randomly and right. traced it back to this phone number. That was a different phone number. Sure. But since they're using the same exact phone number, what do you mean someone else had your pictures? It doesn't hmm. make sense. Okay. I guess you I understand. didn't look at it like that. Okay. Yeah. Why would people, it's not like we found you. Sure. Uh, we, we didn't find like your real account. Right. And then there's another account using your pictures and you're like, hmm. no, 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 that one's not me. No. Hmm. Okay. How would that even work if they texted in the number he's been yeah. texting? Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. All right. So Neve asked her to come into the Zoom. She said she needs to talk to her mom. That's such a you answer. 100%. This is exactly what I would have said. I would have been like, oh, my mom won't let me. Uh huh. And they Sorry. would have been like, Tracy, you were 37. And I You're would be like, like, she still yeah. won't. I know. It's yep. crazy, right? Mm-hmm. And then she asked who will be in the Zoom, which is the equivalent of asking who's going to be at the party. That drives me crazy when people do that. I know, but I, <laughs> well, who all is going to be there? Right. Who all? It's always who all is going to mm-hmm. be there. Uh huh. Well, she's like, maybe I could do it this weekend after I talk to my mom. And they're and, like, no, thank you. Right. And she's like, OK, then I guess not. That was so funny. And they're like, oh, snap. Uh huh. <laughs> so now Neji texts her side text her and goes, mm-hmm. just join the damn call. Neve and Cammy are annoyed by this. Yeah, but they shouldn't be. They Yeah, but they blew. He blew their spot. That's why. Yeah, but it was I would have done the same thing had I been him. Right. Mm-hmm. So she texts back. I'll be there in a few. So now all of a sudden right. we don't care about my mom. No. Uh-uh. Right. Well, she was lying. he's 90 percent sure it's not her. OK. OK. So now she joins the call. She starts talking, but she has something over the camera. Right. And it's like, oh, now, boy, I want to go back to the call with Polo. OK. When they had the call with Polo. They said he said, yep, that's her voice. Yeah. Uh huh. Then we have this call with Sienna. That's not her voice. It's not her voice at all, though. And it's her. Of course, it's uh-huh. her. she said that she got scared. She blames this all on her mom, just like I would do. Yeah, of course. How could I'd you be not? Like, my mom's really strict. My mom didn't let me. Uh huh. I was super grounded. I was on the phone with you. And then as soon as your train pulled in, I got grounded. Uh huh. And then she took my phone away, too. Mm-hmm. And then um, I was uh, and then she gave it back to me the next day after you uh-huh. left. <laughs> as soon as you boarded the train back to Philadelphia, then she handed it right back. She handed to me. it right back to me. She was tracking you. Uh-huh. She said she's not allowed to date at all. And she was scared. Her mom's situation would scare him away. She didn't want to tell admit to him what happened okay i mean i guess it's embarrassing okay, so i'm not sure if you remember being 18 uh-huh not why really didn't, why didn't she just lie no i apparently she doesn't do that she lives on a farm she didn't <laughs> lie well oh no she said they asked her like who do you think this is and she's like oh no that's my boyfriend right she's like oh like, i guess i need to tell my mom right you think? And she did not tell her mom she's on the show. And Cammy's like, I'm not getting grounded for this shit. I love that. Uh-huh. That was really funny. So she said that Polo's her friend. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that um, Polo's not her real name. No, I don't think. I, I'm thinking that's not her real name. It's probably like Elizabeth. <laughs> Polo. Marco Polo? That's uh-huh. what I loved when. It's mm-hmm. like, yeah, I would have been like Polo Ralph Lauren. Right. I would have been like, uh, Zoom? <laughs> Polo Sport? Right. Like what? Your name is Paul. You could call me Paula. And Neve's like, oh, cute. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? Mm. Everything has gone perfectly. So then obviously Nige has a confession. He confesses that he has been banging four other girls, even when they're together. Right. But also like, OK, 
You're not really together. Why did you have to say that? Why did he have to say that? Is it because he's not interested? You know, I no, I don't. I know. know. I don't know. I don't understand. I don't know what the angle was because you could have just said that it was like while you weren't together because you're always not together. Mm -hmm. She's super upset. And Neve is like, why would you tell her that? Yeah, it's stupid. So they put him in a waiting room. He's on timeout. Mm -hmm. What color is her hair? An interesting one. Okay, so it's not it's brass monkey. I was going to say it's not brown. It's not blonde. It's brass. It's yellow brass. Yeah, it's not great. She looks much different in her pictures. Let's just put it that way. Oh, I thought she looked exactly the same with brass. No, I hair. think her hair was totally different. It was just filtered the pictures. But yeah, she definitely had that that uh, trashy blonde. Uh, hair. She definitely has like boxed blonde hair. Yes. So he told her that he wasn't with other women. So he had, mm-hmm. he had told her like, I'm being totally faithful to you. Right. So he's like, all right, listen, oh, typical man fashion. He's like, listen, so you're annoying. a liar. Uh-huh. I'm a liar. Let's uh-huh. just, tell the truth. she's like, I didn't lie to you though. She's like, but what did I lie about? Right. Like I didn't want to video chat with you because my mom beats me. Right. I just didn't tell you about my mom, but I'm still who I am. I wasn't seeing anybody else. She's like, no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not buying that. So she's like, listen, I love you. You're obviously my boyfriend for two years. Yes. Obviously. Uh Uh-huh. But I do need to think. And she's like, do me a favor. She's like, you don't call me. I'll call you. Right. She's like, don't reach out to me. And it's like, good for you. So Mm -hmm. in the end, right now, they remain only friends. Right. And but they have made plans for her to come him to come and meet her mom. Meet her mom. What do you think, Noelle? Um, I think that. I think that whatever happened, like really put her off. I think that it's over. Yeah, because she's on a farm. Like mm-hmm. she doesn't have experience with guys. She just yeah. knows that if someone cheats on you, it's over. This yeah, is not, I think that she's like, no, thank you. This is not a worldly woman. Right. Because if it was like a regular, really, a regular girl would have been like, all right, whatever. We weren't like together. We start new now. Right. She was like, no, 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 no. Yeah. I'm over here milking a girl. I had and boundaries. You're, and you're milking some girl. Yeah. No. Gross. Gross. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. So I, I mean, would I video chat with you? No. Did I leave you at a train station? No. Yes. Right. Yes. Uh huh. Did I lie? Yes. Yeah. A little bit. A tiny little bit. I did like her bed though. It was very nice. If that yeah, was even a, her bed. Unless she was in a farm Airbnb. Maybe a farm B and B. Uh huh. Maybe. So what do you know, think about I, this episode? I just feel like it was kind of boring. Yeah. It was uh, like I said, I think they gave it away pretty quick. Yeah, Um, he was nice. She was nice. But they didn't even seem to like really have like chemistry. Mm -mm. Right. Mm -mm. Not at all. I think that Neve and Cammy have more chemistry. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It just wasn't for me. If you guys are listening, uh, the producers of Catfish, I need more realistic storylines. Well, that's the thing. I felt like it wasn't realistic. They're also very young. Very young. So no one yeah. cares. Yeah. It's like, okay, so if they don't wind up together, like I wouldn't feel bad. Okay. But also not to like bring the mood down in the room, but how are there no pedophiles that are caught on this show? It's so true. I know you love that angle. I'm just saying like to, for the to drama. catch a predator. Yeah. To catch a predator. Uh-huh. Oh, what a good show. They should do. They should team up with Chris Hansen. And that's his name, Chris yeah. Hansen. Of course, you would know that. Oh, that's wow. not on anymore. No, I wish. Yeah. Chris Hansen actually got brought up on some charges that were questionable. No way. Way. That's crazy. True story. Wow. I didn't uh, know that. <laughs> yes. Guys, we also have. Um, yeah, we have a, a group now. We that's have right. a group. On we would Facebook, like you to join it. Catfish Trash Talk podcast. Join it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Come over, talk about the podcast, talk about the show. We want to hear your thoughts. Uh, If you're listening to this, you love us. Obviously, we love you, too. Give Mm -hmm. us a five star rating and an amazing review on iTunes, which is Apple Podcasts now. The purple, you know, the purple thing. Do Yeah, you know what it is. Also, make sure you're following me and Noel. I'm at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram and Twitter. That's T-R-I-X-I-E-T-U-Z-Z-I-N-I. And Noel is noe girl on instagram and twitter and if you're new to this like you don't know about us like mm-hmm. you're just discovering this because of catfish we mm-hmm. have other podcasts we have teen mom trash talk we have 90 day fiance trash talk and we have an entire secret world on patreon Hell patreon.com yeah. slash trash talk podcast you get over 200 bonus episodes if you like our witty banter 
head over there. You can listen to so many episodes of BS. Then we have 16 and pregnant trash talk. We have unexpected trash talk. We have 90 day fiance self quarantine trash talk. I can't even talk because there's so much. No, we have all the stuff, but honestly, the best podcast is BS. Okay. Join just for BS. But now we have a new level available and it's very exciting. And mm-hmm. you're going to be able to get at the elite level. You will be able to get all three of our podcasts, 90 Day Fiance, Trash Talk, Teen Mom Trash Talk, and this one, Catfish Trash Talk, as soon as we record the the podcast, which is usually the day after the show airs. Yeah, like you'll get it right away. So check that out at patreon.com slash trash talk podcast, and we'll see you next week. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Wait, Noelle, before we go... Oh, I think I have someone on the line. Really? Yeah. And I think he might be able to answer a lot of questions that we've had. Oh, I'm so excited. Please welcome our guest, Nige. Yay. Hi. Hey. Thanks so much for being here with us. Are you so excited that you were on TV? Um, <laughs> it was it was like I was excited, but like it was more of like so like on to the point where I, it was more of like uh, it's happened before so like it wasn't like a first time like what do you mean it, what happened before like uh i've been on a a, a television show before mm. like i've recorded on a television show before what show were you on um it's untitled right now so the details isn't out right now okay so it's not out yet yeah is it a okay. sitcom mm-hmm. oh awesome so i saw was- that i saw that you do uh stand-up comedy yeah. When did you start doing stand up? I started doing stand up like probably pre COVID. So mm-hmm. like it had to be like February last year. And that was like more so like like a spur like like a spur of the moment type thing and mm-hmm. broke out. And then I just started like I just had a love for it. I just knew I had a love for it. Have you been doing a lot of shows in Philadelphia? Um, well, since because of COVID and everything, uh, I haven't really got into it, but like I have done like Zoom shows before. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. That's fun. Do you love it? Yeah. Like, cool. like, you love it. Well, that's awesome. I've been doing stand up comedy here in New York for almost 11 years. So if you're ever mm-hmm. in town, uh, definitely let me know and we will hook you up with some shows. That Bet, bet we can do that. <laughs> we, ha- we have a lot of friends that, uh, have done comedy out of philly and are now in new york city so sure i was just i was just recently in new york filming for another project oh that's awesome yeah um and like if that was my first time in new york actually oh you're so close that was your first time like very first time ever you only live about a hundred miles from new york city yeah yeah did you, um, you never wanted to come here when you were younger. You never like wanted oh, to even like take the bus with your friends. The crazy thing is, is that I've always wanted to go to New York, but I've always wanted to be like invited to New York. <laughs> OK, <laughs> OK, well, let me tell you something. I think we have a lot in common. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I I also need a cordial in, uh, invitation. <laughs> I need uh, like lodging paid for. That's who I am as a person. Yes. Did literally. you like New York? Yes, I loved it. I loved it so much. Oh, my gosh. Like, I really loved it. The first time um, I had to go to White Plains, New York. Mm-hmm. So I was in the city. Yeah, that's not real. So it was like upstate New York. So mm-hmm. I feel like like we, I was really like restricted kind of. So like I had to go film. I had to go on set and then like I had to come back and then had to go back to set and then I had to come back to the hotel. So like but then the second time. I was only there for a couple hours. Like mm-hmm. I wasn't there for a whole day and I got to see Times Square. I got to see the Empire State Building. I got to see Times Square is really so cool looking like, oh, my God. So you did the, like the tourist. Uh, yeah. de- like I, th- you know, that's the worst parts of New York, right? Like those are the worst things to do. That's the that's least fun so you'll ever have. I- that was the most fun I had. No. But, you know, we take advantage of that because we live here. I think if I wasn't from here, I would think it was really cool, too. I would not. You, nothing excites you. <laughs> Listen, I, I just feel like even, you know, when we travel to other cities. Yeah. You and I, we never want to do. We like never whatever. do touristy stuff. 
I mean, sometimes yeah. we do like kind of fun stuff, but like we don't want to see who the hell wants to go into an elevator and and go to you know the top of the Empire Staples. Oh, like, not me, never. This is unfun. Lots of crowds, lots of tourists. It's dirty. It's disgusting. Welcome to New York. Smells me. bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think that you would want to relocate here um, yeah. as your career yes. bloomed? Yeah. Yes. Like cool. all jokes. Like no no hesitation. I would love to have a like a nice little apartment out in New York. Awesome. Live so, in the boroughs. Don't live yeah. in Manhattan. I, like that's what that was my. Uh, you got to go to Brooklyn. My, my first like my first. What would be my first choice? I wanted to like, what's like uh, like East Manhattan. That's what someone told me. Like the East Village. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the village is fun downtown, but you don't want to live there. You want to live in Brooklyn. You it's want to live so, in I, I mean, it's expensive to live in New York, but especially Manhattan is so Brooklyn expensive. is beautiful. You're going to yeah, love it. Yeah, Brooklyn's when you come really to Brooklyn. nice. Brooklyn's, um, Brooklyn's the best. Yeah, That's Brooklyn's where you want to live. That is definitely where you want to live. It's very expensive there, too, though. Um, so you're familiar with TV, obviously. We didn't know that you were uh, such a star, but here mm-hmm. you are. Thank you so much for joining us. So we just recapped your entire episode and a lot of holes, a lot of holes in this yes. episode. Do you think that um, there was anything in the episode that was left out that you want to add that you're allowed to add? Well, if it was one thing that like if it was one thing that like was left out it had to be like like more of like our like resolution like okay i mean we'd love to hear about that so as far as the show goes um the update was that you guys were talking, but you were only friends. And she also made some plans with you to come to Delaware and to meet her mother. Yes. The summer. So now it's the summer. What's going on? So, yeah. Um, me and Sienna are, like, really close now. We're really right. tight. Like, we not, like, like, that, like, the relationship stuff is not really in the window anymore. Okay. Mm. Like, but we more we have grown like in a weird way we have grown really really close as friends though like we talk like any chance we could get like we talk about a lot of stuff but like we haven't really been talking about like relationship stuff lately and like i I still respect that decision and yeah do you want to be with her though if in a perfect world um as of right now, I'm still like respecting her decision on okay. like not wanting to be together and like taking a huge break. So like I wouldn't necessarily say uh, that. I would say like just still being more respectful in a way. Okay, I like okay. that. That's really nice. Do you regret telling her that you're with females while you guys were still together, or like looking back? Do you, you know, we we looked at it a little bit differently than you. I mean, you could have told her, wow, uh, yeah, I was with four other girls, but it was when we were on a break. Right. She would have never found out. Yeah. Um, no, actually, I don't regret it. I feel like like honesty is really like a big part of like being a human mm-hmm. and like growing. So like if I didn't tell her, then that would have just been on my conscience. And then I would have been looking at it like as if, everything was like good and everything and like it wasn't it was just going to be like eating me up inside okay so you needed to get it off your chest to make you feel better um do you think that she is still very hurt by that or do you think you guys have moved past it as far as um her being angry at you um i can't really speak for her Mm -hmm. but i can say like uh we don't talk about it like as much she doesn't bring it up yeah. Okay, that's good. Uh, big, big question. Have you ever met Polo? Who's Polo? Is that her Who real is name? Polo. <laughs> I honestly don't know. <laughs> like all jokes, I never met or heard of a Polo ever. Like, and what does she say about? What does Sienna say about that? Um, I asked her who's Polo. She says she's like a friend or whatever. Why but Polo though? Is that really what people call her? I don't think I so. I don't know. Like. Like I've seen like people like I, I for real for I thought Polo was her. Right now. OK, this is a really big question. Mm-hmm. So when Polo was on the phone, you said, yep, that's her voice. 
Yeah. That was 100% not her voice. Definitely not. Why, why did you think that that was her voice? Like, it's like the phone and like, like, I don't understand. Why is the phone, like talking on the phone more like different than talking like video? Like, why does the phone quality on the phone more better than the video quality? Like, I mean, more worse than the video quality. So, like. So like, you're blaming it on the phone quality. <laughs> you thought she was an entirely different girl. Yes. Like, oh, oh come on. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's just like. Even the way she spoke was nothing. Even even if the yes. voice was similar, the way she spoke was totally different. It's it kind of sounded like or were you just nervous and you were like, it's her, you know, you just like, that's a female. Out. That's a girl. Yeah, it's a girl. It's her. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, I don't know what was going through my head. <laughs> well, we're making fun of you on that. So uh, it's safe to say that we don't think that Sianna, as far as right now, is a WFL. Uh, <laughs> no. Okay. OK, do you have a WFL? Do you have no. a different one? Uh, and are you still dating? No, I'm not dating like right now. I'm more focused on like my uh my career right now. Okay. Do you have any plans to go see Sianna? Yeah. Um like uh her mom wanted me to uh come visit after watching the episode. That's <laughs> like nice. she wanted to after watching the episode. <laughs> Is her mother loosening up with the idea of her having even a male friend? Yeah, yeah. Like like she's really cool on that. Like she's really cool on that. Do you think that she played up how protective her mother is as an excuse? Um, I do think so. Actually, hmm. we thought so too. <laughs> I do think so about that as well. Why was it so easy for you to get her in the Zoom while it was not so easy for Neve and Cammy to get her in the Zoom? I don't know like i was just so fed up like i was so fed up like i just told her like get on yeah i understand i don't that. blame you like, cause, Were, like do you think that they were mad at you so, uh neve and cammy yeah. yeah for like blowing their cover Nah, i don't think they was mad at me <laughs> i think like they was more of like yeah they on the same page as me sure the most confusing part of this episode was when uh, Neve and Cammy texted Sienna and her response was, oh, are people using pictures of me again on the Internet? What? Yeah. Did you not? Did you watch the episode? No. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. <laughs> OK, so so on the episode, uh, Neve and Cammy texted her and said, hi, you know, we we'd like to talk to you in a Zoom. And she said, oh, man, are people using pictures of me on the Internet again for fake profiles? Mm. And that wouldn't even have made sense since it was her phone number that they were texting. Yeah. Do you think that's something that they might have uh, created as a storyline? Nah, I think that could have been her. What do you mean? Like that could have been Sienna talking about that because like um, she is like, you know, like a very pretty girl. Mm -hmm. So like people do like steal pictures online and use them as their own. Right. And, but like, why would they be texting her number? And mm -hmm. then she would say, oh, are people, like how would they have gotten her number if it wasn't her? That's what I'm saying. Do you understand? Yeah, it was weird. Um. I don't know. They did. They did detectives and all this. <laughs> oh. so, so we'll never know who Polo is. Um, Polo is probably at Dairy Queen right now, dipping some cones. Yum. <laughs> Just, yeah. you know, really excited about her. Her 15 minutes of fame. Yeah. Like her milkshake. <laughs> her blizzard. Yeah. Do you go to Dairy Queen? No, I've never been to Dairy Queen. Oh, okay, because it's in Delaware and you're in Philly. You yeah. gotta, you know, you gotta get out more. <laughs> um, I've had that's like something like that was probably Five Guys. Okay, all right. Okay, Five Guys yeah. is good. Um, why did you think that three hundred and three dollars was a good <laughs> number of a transmission fix? <laughs> um, to me, like, seeming as though is that that was like. Like, I really, like, that was really, like, uh, 
I mean, are you familiar with how much transmissions really cost? Yes. Okay. And then when she said, oh, I need my transmission fixed for $303, did you think that she got a really good deal? I think that she might have, like, like went half and half with someone. Okay. Right. Do you think like, that I, this uh, Manuel paid anything? Um... I still to this day don't know who Manuel is. Okay, who's so Polo? No, you, who's Manuel? Do you ask these questions? Uh, I've asked a few questions about like, psych, like stuff like that. You don't get answers. No answers. No, like it's usually like, oh, just a friend. Oh, just a friend. Then. Right. Oh. Hmm. It's not uh, the real. Okay, so now we have a really, really hard question for you. Feel free to to say that you can't answer it. Is she still running in the one to 13 count? Is she still continuing her career as a child runner? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I don't know. She she could most likely still be doing that. <laughs> do, you, do you think that it was uh, she came in like 70 something placed out of the one to 13 year olds? Mm -hmm. Do you think she got beat by a lot of like 18 month old kids? <laughs> she could have got beat by like a lot of two, three year olds. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You might want to work on her running with her. <laughs> yeah. Get some cardio. In. Yes, definitely uh, work on her form. <laughs> because if you're getting beat by, you know, two three-year-olds there's a problem there's I mean, a your, problem your legs are four to five times longer than them <laughs> oh man <laughs> i mean we talked about on this episode you know i got beat uh a 5k by a 97 year old man oh. true story it hurt it hurt it stung so i understand <laughs> her pain and if you do talk to her tell her i know how it is <laughs> I, I definitely will <laughs> uh is there anything uh, else that was not shown that you wanted to be shown? Um, no, that's more, that should be more about everything. Like right. me and Donna, we were both on the phone while the episode was airing. Oh, that's so, like, fun. Oh, but that's cute. We both didn't watch it. Right. You both did not pay attention. So that right. was, it was I, a watch party that you guys forgot to watch. Everybody else was sending us DMs telling mm -hmm. us, in those games about it but we were the only ones that didn't watch it uh so i don't want to uh scare you or anything this is the uh most popular catfish recap podcast in the entire world you're on catfish trash talk right now mm -hmm. oh yeah i mean i know you're doing big things you're filming movies you're filming tv shows you're traveling to Times square you're going to white plains but you're on catfish trash talk and this i mean does it feel better or worse than being on the actual tv show it feels like the same amount of excitement because like one of my like i've always wanted to be on a podcast and like it was so this was it's like really like a, a a good honor like that you asked me to be on it oh well we're so excited that you wanted to do it noel yeah. is there anything that we're missing um, do you think that we are like Neve at Nev, Neve and Cammy? <laughs> um, if okay, well, how about this? If if one of us had to be Neve and one of us had to be Cammy, like tell us what you think. You, you already be, know. Definitely be you could be Cammy. Noel, you could be Neve. Okay, really? I thought oh, the tables were turned. Okay. Yes. I like it. I like it because I'm more aggressive. You are more yeah. aggressive. Yep. I like that. How is it working with them? It was it was it was good. Like they're really they're really like some good mentors. They're really good mentors. And like uh Cammy is really like a really good like she really like has some knowledge. Like yes, that's nice. Like she gave off like like a more pure like like really caring. Yeah, like she caring. has good big sister advice. Yeah. yeah. Yes, like she's she really gave off some good knowledge to me that like I'm still that's going to stick with me for like she seems very genuine. Yes, like oh, she love them both. We absolutely mm -hmm. love them both. We're happy uh, to have her. We're, would you have wished that you met Max? Yeah, like Max, Max is the Max. Now, Max, he was the he was the stomp the ground. One. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> no rumors. I remember. When I was watching this one episode, he told the guy, like, he told the guy, 
like even if she does even if she does uh want anything to do with you i'm not gonna let her oh wow. Was, wow he's sassy yeah he was very sassy yeah <laughs> That's what that's what Noel really liked about him because he was like he would get like a little bit nasty. I love it. No, he was so snarky. Yeah, no chill. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, maybe there'll be another time. Do you think you'll ever um, have an online relationship again? Um, no. OK, so you're not going to want to date any of us. OK, that's fine. I'm just uh, <laughs> I'm just, I know we shouldn't we shouldn't have shown ourselves on video. We should have catfished you. We could have done a double catfish episode. Catfish, catfish, catfish. Like I want to like I want to learn how to I want to learn like eventually, like when I do feel as does that I want to get back in that field. I want to learn how to flirt. So I don't know how to flirt at all. I think you do. You were sleeping with four different women while you had an online girlfriend. I think you're doing OK. Yeah, I think you're doing good. Whatever um, you're doing, keep doing that. That's like online, like online. You could like be who you want online. Sure. But I mean, you were meeting you were still girls in real life, deal, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much for being here with us. And we hope to see you in New York City. And, you know, make sure you hit me up when you're here for some stand up and we will uh, we'll do some stand up together. Uh, can, can you tell everyone where they could follow you, where they could find you? Um, So they could find me on Instagram, 902 Nyji, N-Y-H-J-E-E, you know, and they can like they can also find me on Facebook. They can find me on YouTube, too. Ooh. I do. I do. Uh, I do gaming. I do rants. I do story times, vlogs, whatever you, whatever it is you need. Are you on TikTok? I want to eventually start doing TikTok. Yes, definitely. Got to. That's where we learn everything about life. Yes. <laughs> like, like I recently just got addicted to TikTok. Like literally, like last month, I just. Got I can't addicted. sleep. What are your favorite <laughs> kinds of videos to watch? I like I like the conspiracy theory videos a lot. Like I love the conspiracy theory videos. <laughs> Yes, we're that's very, my favorite. Very into them. Uh, I like the um, one of my favorites. It's an oldie but a goodie is when they tell you like this, the secrets about retail workers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are pretty good. And, uh, you know, recipes. I really like when they um, tell you secrets about like the world and stuff like I like when they tell you like 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 I like it when they give you unknown facts and like facts and stuff like like that. Like. Yeah, this is what you don't know about this. Yes. This, about this show. Like, I don't love it. Don't you feel so much smarter after you're on TikTok for t seven hours? Yes. <laughs> Same. Feel, yes. Like, I feel like. Like my whole life is a lie. After mm -hmm. I just, a good three hours of TikTok. Five I know, hours. Like, am I the smartest person in the world? Like, uh -huh. I have all of the knowledge just in 60 seconds. And then like. Like, like, and then you realize, like, like you, like you get through it. You go through a, a, a really big loop of TikTok. Like, um, like it's, it's three o'clock. Next thing you know, it's nine o'clock. You got to get ready for bed. Yep. You get sucked That's into the void. Uh, <laughs> well, listen. Let's let's keep in touch. Let's keep in touch mostly about TikTok videos because that's yes. all we really care about. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Make sure you're following him on YouTube, on Instagram, uh, and check out everything. Hopefully soon he'll be on TikTok. No problem. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you soon. Okay. See you Congratulations. soon. Congratulations. Bye. Bye-bye.